The transponder is a piece of equipment in our avionics stack. The purpose of the transponder is to transmit a signal so the air traffic controllers, ATC, can see us and possibly see how high we are. The transponder has a place for four digits and that each digit could be, or each box could be zero through seven. Um, often they will refer to it as a 4096 transponder and that just means that there's a possible 4096 combinations of numbers that you could put in there. But anyways, the transponder also has a selector knob on it and the selections you can choose would be off, standby, on, altitude, and then there's also an ident button. Off, self-explanatory, that's how you turn it off. Standby is used once you've started the aircraft, you put it in the standby selection and that helps the instrumentation warm up so it's ready for use when you're ready to use it. Um, the difference between on and altitude selection, on just allows the controllers to see where you are but not your altitude. If you have it in the altitude selection, that allows the controllers to see where you are as well as how high you are. Um, the ident button is used when the controllers need to s distinguish your position in relation to other aircraft. They're trying to find you. Uh, maybe there's 20 aircraft on the radar scope and they tell you to ident and you push that button and it basically glows on their radar screen so they can find you quicker. Now the transponder, um, there's, there's also a few other codes that we need to know and they're emergency squawk codes. But let, let, let's look at how the controllers actually see us on the radar scope. So on their radar scope, they see little dots and they can watch which direction the little dots are moving. Now they don't see actually which way you're steering, they just see your ground track oriented magnetically on their scope. Whatever code you have in here will show up on their screen. So let's say, for example, you were not talking to them yet and you were squawking 1200. That code lets them know that you're flying at visual flight rules and that they're not talking to you. Once you talk to them and you give them your tail number, so for example, let's say you called uh, Greer Approach and you told them November 4642 Juliet, then they will put that code in there and they can associate that dot with your tail number. Also, if you have it on the altitude selection, they can also see how high you are. So let's say, for example, you are flying at 3,000 feet. And that's what the controllers see. Now, let's, if you had an emergency, then the different codes that we could use is 7700, 7600, 7500. The 7700 is used for an all-out emergency. An example could be your aircraft were on fire, your engine stopped working, you had a medical emergency. Anything like that that is an all-out emergency, then you would put those digits into your transponder, so 7700. And what that would do over on the screen for the radar people is it would show up 7700 and it makes yours kind of flash and I've even seen in some cases it'll blink help me, help me. And they know that you're having an emergency. Uh, 7600, 7600 is reserved for communication failure. So if your radio stopped working, either you can't hear them or they can't hear you or either way you guys can't hear each other then you would put 7600 in there and again it would show up on their radar scope that you are having communication failures. Um, 7500 is used for hijack, so if you're being hijacked then you would put 7500 in there, it shows up on their radar scope and they know that you're being hijacked. So those are your emergency transponder codes that you would put into the transponder. Uh, if you uh, wanted to verbally talk or communicate to the controllers, um, you can either talk directly to ATC, air traffic controllers, on whatever frequency you are already talking to them on, or there is also a Mayday frequency, 121.5. So 121.5 is reserved for Mayday. If you crashed, then the ELT, the Emergency Locator Transmitter, would transmit a signal on this frequency as well. But if you were not talking to ATC and you had an emergency, you should squawk one of the appropriate codes and you can put 121.5 into one of your communication radios. Obviously that wouldn't work if you were uh, 7600 because then the radios wouldn't work. 
But in the other two scenarios, you could put 121.5 in there, and the flight service station monitors that frequency, and a lot of pilots, even airline pilots, monitor that frequency, so you should get some, some sort of assistance uh, pretty quickly.